Hi, betting experts. On Saturday, the 11th of September, we've got seven cracking races on ITV on Saturday, the highlight of which is undoubtedly the Kazoo St. Ledger at 3.35. The ground, pretty good, fast aside at most of the tracks covered. And the weather forecast has been a bit mixed this week, but hopefully Doncaster's missed the worst of it. We start off with our value angle selection in the 220. This is the Champagne Stakes, a group two over seven furlongs. And I'm very strong here at the prices on Bayside Boy of Roger Varian. Now, this two-year-old is held in the highest regard at home. He landed hefty market support on his debut, despite running rather green, and was absolute stable nap when beaten right on the, li- right on the line at Newbury last time out, just doing everything in a bit of a rush to make up the ground, hit the front and just worried out of things by Masakali. He's got loads of untapped potential. This is a big step up in class and Reach for the Moon's likely to be a short price favourite, but I think Bayside Boy can improve past him with more racing experience. He should go really well. He's around about 7-1. to one. I think that's a very fair price. For our nap of the day, we go to today's feature race, the 335, the Kazoo St. Ledger, a group one over a mile six. The oldest classic, well, Hurricane Lane here looks absolute banker material at 5-1. to four on i'm not sure um there's a second in here to be truthful and he's a top class performer he's thrived all summer he's won four of his five starts in brilliant style the form's worked out superbly his one disappointing run came in the derby when given a poor ride and probably not handling the track but he's thrived since i think the step up to a mile six which might encourage some bookmakers to get him um, i think that's exactly what he wants and this is a race without a second in high definition that's completely gone ottoman of um Johnny Murta's one of substandard Gordon. I just don't think there's... I think it's 10 bar one. I think Hurricane Lane is a rock-solid favourite. It's going to be extremely hard to beat. Looking at the rest of the card at Doncaster, well, ITV begin with the Portland at 145, a very competitive five furlong sprint. I think Beyond Equal here is virtually guaranteed to give his running. He's been a terrific advert for Stuart Kittow all summer, holding his form in competitive sprint handicaps. Decent ground shoots, ideally, and Rob Hornby knows him well. Um, the f- three o'clock, the Kazoo Park Stakes Group Two Seven Furlongs. Well, Dania might only have won a handicap at Ascot last time out, but if you watch that run back, it was a really unusual and terrific effort. You very rarely see the make all in those huge field races at Ascot, and he was taken on from halfway again and again. And he kept pulling out more. He's valued for a lot more, and I think that form is pretty solid. Now he does step up in class here. Some people will want to have him pegged as a handicapper, and this is a Group Two, but I suspect he'll make all the run here and fend them all off again over at Chester a couple of races on ITV starting off at two o'clock with a handicap over a mile four a Lunak is very quirky of Andrew Ballings but he's been running with credit all summer and I thought he ran a bit better than the bare result last time out when finishing third this looks ideal and I suspect he's the sort of horse will love the turns of Chester it'll keep him interested he has got a turn of foot when the cards fall right and David Probert knows him well the 235 a mile six staying handicap well I'm going to take a chance here on Mr Curiosity he was disappointing on his handicap Debbie but perhaps that was down to Newcastle's all weather surface he'd looked pretty promising before in fact when he finished second behind an odds on winner previously he was straight into the notebook I think this mark underestimates him okay Jamie Spencer's book not my cup of tea at all and you know he's going to sit last which isn't probably ideal at Chester but hopefully there's a couple of pace angles up front here and he can swoop late if he sees any daylight he's certainly overpriced at the morning offer one race from Leopardstown on a cracking card in fact a cracking weekend of racing in Ireland the 245 the Irish champion stakes group one over a mile two well this is a fantastic contest but I think Poetic Flair will be suited by this step up to one mile two all of his form is at a mile he has become a bit quirky I think he needs producing late he's perfectly game and genuine but I don't think he wants to be in front too long he definitely idled his chance away when picked off at Goodwood and last time out at Palace Pier I think they raced too far apart Um, he was flying home again when Palace Pier went on I think he'd have won in another 10 yards I suspect a mile two will suit decent ground should be ideal he might just have a little bit too much speed for St Mark's Basilica best of luck on all seven ITV races on Saturday betting experts